Hey saddle hunters, I hope all you guys are getting ready for season, lots of preparation to be done. I'm gonna be coming out with a series of short videos every week that highlight a new product that might be helpful for your upcoming season. Today, I get the opportunity to show you the USA Pro Series from the Amsteel guy. You might remember last year, I got the opportunity to debut a video about the USA, the ultimate stick attachment method, which is basically a length of full berry Amsteel with a Schwabish hitch on there. So you ran it around the tree, hooked it over your Versa button, cinched it tight, and you were good to go. Very simple, very secure. He later came out with it in a light series, which was a non-full berry series. And this Pro Series is one step above that. It, it has two swabishes on it, and you're basically going to make a trucker's hitch with them. And it also has a tender, uh, it's got a bungee on the end of it, it's shrink wrap, it's just a very, very clean product. So this method I have found to be very, very secure. Up until the launch of this, I have never gotten away from using a cam buckle strap on my Predator platform. I've just never found anything that I felt was solid enough to ditch the cam buckle strap. So. This is the first product that I've ever tested that gives me the confidence to know that my platform is going to be rock solid. And it's just super light, very easy to use. It's got one extra step compared to the regular USA, but, but I think for a platform, it's totally worth it. So I'm going to demonstrate it on the tree behind me here with a tethered one stick and the tethered Predator platform and just show you guys how it functions. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate the USA Pro Series in the light version on the tethered one stick. I have not found much of a difference in functionality between the light and the full berry model, just so you guys know. But basically, you're just gonna set your stick on the tree, you're gonna run the rope around. You want to take your first swabish and set, set it quite a ways back. On a big tree like this, I like to hold my finger out and go, okay, that's about 10 inches wide. You know, I find 12 to 14 inches back is typically a, a good starting place, as long as the tree's not super big. And then you're gonna basically just kind of run it underneath your, your strap, back through the loop on that first swabish. And then you're gonna pull it tight. And you can pull it pull it as tight as you can at that point get as much slack out as you can you move the second swabish up hook it over your versa button or in this case the the dynalock tab and then you're gonna pull it tight and that tender is just gonna pull it then you seat it and you can see that hardly set at all uh, it, it's very very tight I like to keep one of these on my pack of three tethered one sticks so that if I'm going on up a goofy tree and I get on an angle where I think there's some potential for a kick out, I'm gonna break out the stick with this USA Pro Series on it and use it so that I know it's, it's rock solid and not going anywhere. So that's the Pro Series on a stick. Let me show it to you on the platform now. All right, here it is on the platform. I, I misspoke the first time. I showed you guys the full berry on the stick. Now this is gonna be the light version, the non-full berry version. And I wanted to show this one on the platform because some guys are gonna think that it may not work as well as the full berry version. But you can see he's got the nice bungee, which I just wrap it around my platform, use the bungee to hold it in place. It's got the shrink wrap at the end, which is really, really nice. I'm just gonna take this, unwrap it. The principle is the same as, as the stick. You're just gonna set your first swabish a little bit behind. I'm gonna put this one more on the front of the tree so that when I stand on it, you guys can, can get an idea whether or not it, it moves or pulls away. Actually, we'll, we'll go right over, right over here. Run my rope around. I wanna make sure that my swabish is, you know, back that maybe foot mark. Go underneath the button, back through. And I'm gonna pull it as tight as I can get it. And you wanna to try to keep it as level as possible at that point. While I'm keeping tension on it, I'm gonna adjust my second swabish. Just loop it over the button. 
and pull it tight. And that tender does all the work for you. And then I just seat it. You can see that, I mean, it just, it doesn't want to settle. You want to make sure that when this hangs down, you don't get it behind the platform and cam your, your teeth into it. So there it is, hats of pine, pretty soft bark, but I'm gonna hop up there so that you guys can get a look at how solid it is underfoot. All right, so I'm out here on the edge, bouncing on it. Just no real movement at all when uh, you're, you're on the edge of it. If I were to spin all the way around over here, I mean, just no side to side pressure. The top bracket's not moving away at all under normal positioning. It's just really, really solid, guys. I'm gonna run this instead of a cam strap because it is so, so solid and so much lighter than the cam strap. All right, guys, so that is the USA Pro Series from the Amsteel guy. Remember, it comes in both the regular and XL versions as well as the full berry and the light series. And you can see here, even the light series is very, very solid, very, very tight. This is what I'm gonna be finally ditching my can strap for. Thanks for watching the channel, guys. Stay tuned for more videos, and I appreciate your support.